Hey guys, this is Joseph from JoseMastery.com and in this video we're going to be working on the header.php and the footer.php. So without further ado, let's get started. So in the previous tutorial, we worked on creating the, the basis of the theme. So we outputted Hello World in our theme, as you can see here. And in this tutorial, we're going to be going on the header and the footer. So, so in the header, first thing we're going to do is we're going to declare the doc type, HTML file, and our opening HTML tag. Alright. And um, after that, we're going to put in our head. Now, you should know the basis of HTML, because this is not a HTML tutorial. This is a WordPress tutorial. And for those who are wanting to integrate their HTML skills into WordPress. So just um, as we go along here, the first thing we need to do in the head is we need to link our style sheet. So in WordPress, it's a little bit different from regular HTML. Now, usually you would just um, type in here rel equals style sheet. Yes, that's what you do in WordPress as well. But then in the href, usually you will just type in your whatever style.css. Now in WordPress, there's a special function that WordPress gives you. It's called um, blog info. And inside here, you want to just type in style sheet URL. And that automatically points to your uh, style sheet, which is very handy. All right, so that's good. And then um, next, we're gonna give it a meta. Oops, I'm typing really slow because I'm on a different keyboard. But excuse me, and a char set. And we're gonna use a PHP function that WordPress already has, and it's called char set, just like that. All right, now you don't really have to understand all of this. This is basically just um things that you just have to put in your header.php. Now the next one, um, we're going to be using this in the future, it's to make your res website responsive. So you're going to go name, um, viewport, content, oops, and I'm going to type in here width, equal, oops, ah, device width. Alright, there we go. And then Initial scale equals 1.0. All right. Okay, so now we've done the, I guess you could say, boring parts. Let's get into the title. So we're going to open our title. And inside the title, we, we don't want to type in like whatever um, WordPress, like this is our title. Now we don't want to do this because we want most of our information to live within the site. So basically, the user can input the information. So we're just going to use another WordPress function, and it's called blog info, and the name. So that'll automatically take the name of your website and put it as the title. All right, next, um, we're just going to, this is just a WordPress function for plugins. You don't really need to know about this, but I might uh, explain it in future tutorials. There we go. So that's the head done. Next, we're going to work on our body. So we're going to open our body text, oops, and because this is only the header, we don't want the finishing tag to be inside the header. We're going to go to the footer, and here is where we want to close up our body tag. And the header.php, we have an opening HTML tag, and that's also going to go in our footer.php. Alright, now let's get into the body. So in the body, we're going to, like most of other um, HTML documents, we're going to make a div with a class oops, of container. All right. And inside the container, we want a header. So this is like basically the title, um, the header title. Uh, oh, keep in mind that this is not like the title. This is basically this. As you can see here, it 
right now it just prints the path of my website but it um if you refresh have I saved it? Um no what happens. Let me just save it. Yeah, WordPress development. Because that's the name of our site. Just a note there. So in, in here we're gonna um use HTML5 and it's gonna be a tag called header. And we're gonna give it a class here of site header. So this is where our navigation is gonna go, um our header uh main header and stuff like that. So let's start with the main header. And once again we're gonna input output our um name of our website. Alright. 